Hello and welcome to Thriftcart. In this video, we will review how to schedule a pickup through your donor self-scheduling link. This is the unique link that you should have received from Thriftcart for attaching to your website, sharing via email, or otherwise publishing for your donors to be able to self-schedule their pickups. As you walk through this video and review your self-scheduling link, please note any edits that you want made to verbiage, logo, items that are accepted, not accepted, or otherwise, so we can get those adjusted for your use. First, open in your browser that unique link, the URL that we provided for your donor self-scheduling link, and you should see a welcome page similar to what we are seeing here, only it may have your logo and some different verbiage. First, go ahead and review the header. Make sure that that information is as you desire. We're happy to add contact information there as well if it's not already included. And then a welcome message or some donating instructions for your donors. You can have one or more checkboxes that your donors need to select, indicating that they ideally have read and agree to some initial terms and conditions to donate, and then select next step. And now you will see where your donor will be required to enter their contact information, including name, email, phone number, and address. Now if they enter an address that is outside of your pickup area, as set by a zip code list that you may have sent us, or a custom zone map, the donor will simply not be able to proceed past this screen. Instead, they will receive an error message that you can customize to simply direct them that they are not able to proceed with that address, or to provide them a phone number that they can call where you can consider an exception of going outside of your normal pickup area. If you enter any address in your link there that should be accepted, and you receive a reject message, please let us know so we can research if your zones or zip codes might need to be expanded. Below the address field, you can also have a custom prompt to collect additional information you might find helpful with this pickup. For example, you might ask for gate codes, a major intersection next to the pickup address, or if this is a commercial or residential donation. Select Next Step, and here you will see the calendar display, which your donor will be able to use to select a day for their pickup. There are a few parameters taking place here. First, we can block off a number of days that force your donor to pick a day at least three, five, or maybe seven days in the future. Thriftcart is also comparing your donor's address to your pickup schedule based on your zones or zip code boundaries and when you have assigned to service those certain zip codes and or boundaries. So the donor is only able to select a day and time block, if applicable, when you are scheduled to service their area. Thriftcart is also blocking any day or time block for which your truck is marked as full. So select a day and then choose next step. Here you can select some items that you might be donating. Items that you accept are shown in green and those that you do not accept are displayed in red. You might take some time here to review each one of the items that are by default marked as green or red to confirm that they meet your list of accepted and unaccepted items. Each item that you do accept can have a unique quality prompt. For example, if I select recliner, there's a quality prompt indicating what conditions this item needs to meet, as well as a quantity prompt, where I can increase the quantity to say two items and then select add this item. You could also have a custom field for donors to be able to key in an item that they don't otherwise see in the list. Optionally, we can set a limitation to where donors have to donate at least two or maybe three or four items in order to book the pickup. And then they select next step. An optional page is to require that photos be submitted along with this pickup booking. If the donor is on their smartphone, and likely most of your donors will be, then they should be able to take a picture with their phone. Alternatively, if on their computer, they can upload a picture like I'm doing here. Select Next Step when done. And here is an additional optional page where you can request monetary donations along with these pickups. If this page is not already active in your account, but you do indeed want to collect monetary donations, please reach out to whichever Thriftcart team member is helping you onboard your system so that they can follow up accordingly. 
A final summary page is displayed for your donor to review. You can have a final condition that they must agree to before selecting the Schedule Now button, upon which they receive a confirmation email for this pickup, and you can also receive an alert email letting you know that a new pickup has been booked. The confirmation that sends to your donor is a template email, and you can phrase it as a hard confirmation, such that they are not expecting additional follow-up before you arrive to pick up their items, or as a more soft confirmation, where it indicates that you will be reaching out again before the pickup to confirm date, time, items, or otherwise. Thanks for reviewing your self-scheduling link. Look forward to hearing any edit requests you might have for it, and please proceed on to the next video to continue learning about and reviewing your Thriftcart software.